Here's all the parts for my uh, power supply for building the foam cutter. Painted it orange with rust oleum, orange gloss rust oleum on the shell of the power supply. I'm using this uh, 15 volt, actually it's about, yeah, it's about 15 volts, 1.2 amps. I guess 15 at no load, 12 at full load. And I uh, cut off the uh, power cord going into it and put these uh, terminals, crimp terminals on it. I'm going to put uh, terminals on, on the uh, uh, plug and mount it inside, possibly with a heat sink on here. The fan's going to blow across it. Got the original cooling fan. Got some feet from that microwave oven that was free. Um, got a fuse, fuse holder, fuse, two amp fuse. Got the uh, binding posts for the banana plugs. And this is just stuff from the power supply, screws and stuff that I'll put back together again. This is my hot wire power supply that I made. Um, I took an old computer power supply and uh, it was just a shell because it was a, a bad power supply and uh, so I, I uh, sanded it down just kind of roughed it up and then I painted it with orange paint uh, and what I did was this was the inside of a wall wart, this transformer. It's about uh, 12 volts at 1.5 amps. And uh, so basically, I just uh, rewired this transformer into this, into these binding posts and a fuse. And I got a cooling fan. I used the original fan for a cooling fan. Uh, I used uh, crimp connectors. I crimped right on to uh, right on to the uh, 120 uh, pins, 120 volt uh, plug. And uh, this is basically this transformer here is out of a black shell. I just broke a the black wall where it apart and uh, just soldered it in because I found it kind of ran hot, so uh, I wanted some cooling for it. And uh, I have a fuse and everything is basically uh, tie wrapped in. I used just regular stainless steel screws to uh, screw the fan into the back. I rewired the, uh, the plug and uh, the switch so it would work on this and I used yellow heat shrink tubing on it just for uh, insulation over it. And I've uh, I've cut out these uh, templates for the airfoil, and uh, it's called uh, Clark Y. It's a Clark Y airfoil, 170 millimeters uh, in length, and uh, to fit these foam pieces that I had cut before in half, the foam from Home Depot. Got some textbooks on it just to weight it down, and, and I'm planning on using the hot wire to uh, to cut out my first foam wing for radio control models. And uh, so what I did was I I, uh, I glued, I just uh, cut out that airfoil pattern from that program, and uh, I glued it onto uh, this thin. I don't know whether it's vermiculite, they call that vermiculite, or uh, it's it's kind of a, it's an MDF anyway. It's only like about a quarter inch thick. So here's my bow, my cutting bow for the hot wire foam cutter. Uh, I got eye bolts uh, secured here, and I have the uh, terminal, that uh, crimp terminal attached under it, an eye terminal. I'm using uh, 
fishing line uh, clips for uh, leader clips to actually put the guitar string onto it to hold it so uh, I can do like a quick change if something happens I don't have to uh, unravel it or uh, it's not it's not uh, tied around the eye bolt it's actually uh, just clipped onto it with these uh, these fish uh, you know, leader clips fishing leader clips uh, so I have it tie wrapped wire tie wrapped here <clears throat> I have some eye bolts on the top I got a spring from the hardware store I'm using paracord to uh, tension it and uh, I have zip cord lamp cord uh, coming from the hot wire <clears throat> and it comes back to my my power supply here and uh, this is the, uh, the power supply I built for hot wire it's uh, 12 volts at full load 15 volts no load uh, 1.2 amps uh, it's DC and uh, it's basically just a, an old shell from a computer power supply that had had a, a burnt out uh, power supply board in it that I had taken out and I just kept the uh, the box and uh, so basically uh, took all the everything out and took the switch out and took the uh, 120 volt connector out and the fan and uh, rewired it into that transformer that I got from uh, for a wall wart I, I took it out of its black plastic box because I wanted uh, I wanted some cooling and uh, for this transformer because I, I found it ran kind of hot when I was uh, running this hot wire through it so uh, I, uh, I also put a fuse in here fuse holder and a, a glass fuse it's a 2 amp fuse quick blow fuse and uh, I cut out a piece of uh, CD from a clear CD box and uh, spray painted it yellow on the back and I lined it up at the rear and uh, I put two uh, screws through existing holes and I'm going to put a, an LED behind it <clears throat> just as an indicator lamp so I, when I turn it on it'll, it'll glow yellow <clears throat> right now it's not I don't have an LED wired in there but I, I just want to try it out put some black vinyl uh, feet on the bottom <clears throat> so hot wire is on gonna get it on the, the step here there it is I have to retention this. It's kind of loose. Yeah, I'm going to have to retention this. That side, okay, there it goes. Hmm. Still kind of losing tension. It might be hot enough too with this one amp transformer. to go to a bigger transformer. Okay. I'm just gonna turn this off for now. Hot wire off. <clears throat> and uh, and see what results I got. I'm gonna, 
recording. Yeah. Really? Yeah, that's not bad. That's not too bad. That's fine. That's fine. No, that's not bad either. That's not bad at all.